Watch as it crushes this can. In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, we are trying a brand new As Seen on Television product. Today, we're trying Pack and Stack, the new portable cordless vacuum storage system so you can pack all your clothes in half the space. It is the revolutionary space saving solution, all for $19.99, which right off the bat, I think it's too much. Simply place any soft items into the packing bags and let the pack and stack do the work. It is a little vacuum that you can take with you and use for packing or like storage. Taking the air out and giving you twice the space. Things like this where you like organize and keep things nice and tidy. Those are my favorite products. When I saw how she took four jackets. Also great for storing your seasonal wardrobe. Winter clothes. Watch as it condenses this stack of bulky winter clothes to a fraction of their original size. And she shrunk that shit to like the size of an envelope. <laughs> I was like, that's impressive. The secret is Pack and Stack's innovative battery technology and powerful air extraction system. This comes with four storage bags and one small unit. It's small enough to fit into just about anywhere. Revolutionary unit that sucks all the air out of those bags so that you can pack all the shit back in your bag and not get charged those expensive check-in fees. In the commercial, they only had three bags. And then they made two disappear because of this product. With Pack and Stack, you can fit it all in your carry-on and save hundreds. And the dude said over $300 saved. The airline baggage fees could cost you over $300. What airline are you flying? We're just going to Puerto Rico. You don't need to take all that shit. Packing for that trip with all that luggage can leave you feeling overloaded. Sorry to burst bubbles here, but <laughs> it's not new or revolutionary. Allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that it looks really familiar to something else I've tried in the past. It's this. Just in a different color. If you have this, I'm saying it's going to work the same way. I don't know. We're about to find out when I open it. For the 20 bucks that I'm paying, I want, I don't know, 30 bags. <laughs> Okay, not 30, but I want at least 15 bags, a dollar each. Because look, you can get those bags at Dollar Tree. This is from Dollar Tree. Fill with soft clothes based on the infomercial or a pillow or jackets or winter stuff, you know. Sometimes that shit takes up too much room. That is a fact blankets and stuff, towels. Once you put it into the bag, you're going to seal the bag with the clip. You're going to remove the cap off of the bag itself and then you're going to vacuum the air out of it. You will need three AAA batteries. That's it. Pretty easy. That infomercial made it seem though like this is going to suck the hell out of that stuff. It's going to suck it good. <laughs> now in the infomercial, they're packing suitcases and they're acting like crazy, like they lost their damn mind. Stop the madness of overpacking. If you're acting that crazy, take a fucking nap. You don't need to go on vacation. <laughs> Ta -da! Just a little bit different. It is a little taller, this one. The pack and stack. The back has the little door <laughs> for your batteries. The bottom is kind of where the trick is. This bottom is a little bit flatter. Can you see it right there? And then the green one has a little bit larger of a lip. <laughs> We're going to call it a lip. Those lips are gonna suck the hell out of this <laughs> instruction manual. <laughs> I hate when they call one sheet of paper instruction manual. It's called a pamphlet. <laughs> not even. What is a one sheet? It's a cheat sheet. That's what we're gonna call it. Do not call this an instruction manual because a manual has more than three pages. Important notes, do not store leather, clothing with animal fur, or food. Do not overfill bag or it will not close. It says that the pump will change tone to let you know that the seal is airtight. Okay, that sounds fancy, but it doesn't look very fancy. It looks like this one. Your instruction manual reads just the same as 
the instruction manual that they pasted right there. Okay, so here are the bags. Okay, wait, they're looking kind of fancy now. They got all kinds of writing on them. Listen, it might not be these basic Dollar Tree bags. This is gonna be very helpful in all kinds of scenarios right inside your house and traveling traveling for sure you get to your vacation destination right everything's perfectly packed and then when you're leaving number one you're not ready to repack number two you don't know how the hell you got it in there in the first place right and then you got dirty clothes it's just a mess so these will come in very handy one is for the funky dirty clothes and then one is for the shit that you really didn't wear but you took anyway oh my god Wait a second, I was talking a lot of shit. This looks kind of fancy. Don't be fooled now just because it got words on it. Don't be fooled. There's just the instruction manuals <laughs> it's printed on here again. So we don't need that or the box. Wait, does the box tell us anything else? Nope, pump included. <laughs> it better for 20 bucks. Reduces volume up to 50%. It is resistant against mold, water, moisture, bacteria and insects. There was a part of that infomercial that made me go, are you serious? Where they had the jackets? I rewatched that a couple times going, are you sure? I wasn't sure what the black jacket was. I'm impressed with the quality of the bags, but we'll compare them to the one from Dollar Tree to see if they're the exact bag. <laughs> the pack and stack, I keep saying pack and sack, like sack and save. Do y'all remember sack and save? <laughs> we grew up on second save. Here's what I like about the bag. It has a green little ceiling area so you know what you're working with. These are 17.5 inches by 27.5 inches. Okay, let's see the ones from Dollar Tree. The This just became an exposed video <laughs> because um, the ones from Dollar Tree are 17 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches. You guys ready? Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Wait a second. What? Are they, why is my Dollar Tree one longer? I'm gonna get the measuring tape in a second, but real quick, the same or not? They look very similar to me. Even the little clips on top are identical. $1, 19, well not 19, cause you get a whole bunch of other stuff. But if I would've got four of these, that would've been $4. So you're telling me this costs $16 alone? No, ma'am. Okay, let's start with the one from Dollar Tree. 27 and a half exactly. 17 and a half exactly. Pack and stack. Hold on, folks. Hold on. I can't even say it. It is 23 and a half. This way it is 19 and a half. This one was exactly what the packaging said. It's what the fuck? Who can explain? For one dollar, we don't expect a lot. When you deliver what you say, even at a dollar, it's much appreciated. No food, no leather, no fur. Be careful with your kids. Don't let them play with plastic bags. Those are the warnings. Do not overfit. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> There's more. My apologies, you're not getting 23 inches of space because there's a line right here that says do not pass this line. So truly from the line they're telling us to the ledge, we have 19 inches instead of the 27 and a half that is printed on the bag and on the box. These don't feel any nicer or thicker. So the little clips come off on all these bags, the little clip comes off so that you can open this all the way. So the first thing we're gonna try is this beautiful puppy here because in the infomercial, they did a stuffed animal. Powerful enough to shrink down even the bulkiest items. It's so strong. He's gonna go in here and we're gonna see how much he's gonna shrink. Put him in. These are really easy to use. Now you wanna get your little clip Clip it here at the end, like so. 
then you're going to slide it okay to seal it I like to go back through with just my fingers to make sure it is sealed now what you do is you take off the little cap oh we need batteries three AAA batteries now let me just tell you what I do like about this it is convenient right throw it in your suitcase if you are traveling with bags like this this is really cool to have I do like that compact kind of portable idea of this thing it's okay it's, it's pretty loud I'm gonna get a hickey on my face don't do that okay let's try this one so you guys can see okay let me tell you something just holding them like this this one feels really nice this one has like weight to it I don't know it's the same damn thing let's try it with this one first just to see what happens ready now let's try it with this thing the pack and stack ready It's sucking in, vacuuming, whatever, very slowly. That commercial, they sped that shit up or something because that's not happening here in real life. That was movie magic or something. Poor puppy. But I swear it's been three minutes. It looks like it's airtight, right? But it, in person though, it doesn't, I don't know. It feels like there's still a lot of air in there. If you have a lot of stuff in that suitcase, you're gonna need at least three days in advance to start packing. I don't know about that infomercial. Now let's take him out of here, move him to the Dollar Tree bag, and then try it with this guy to see what happens. Listen, the expectations for this one are not that high because you have to remind yourself, one dollar, fool. One. When you're using these pack and stack, you're thinking, what did I pay 20 bucks for? That's what I'm thinking. The size, guys, it matters. You know what I'm saying? Let's time this shit real quick. That commercial was quick. Put this one on it, like so. It's perfect. Let's go. Shit, I forgot to turn my thing on. Damn it. <laughs> Add a couple seconds to that. See? Three minutes, just like I said. Turn it off. Put the lid on. Same dog, different bag. It did the same thing. This bag is no different than this bag. It did not go any faster. This one is just way longer. Now let's test a can because they sure did in the infomercial show that this thing is so powerful that it will crush this can. Watch as it crushes this can. <laughs> in here. <laughs> oh, show me. Listen, if you do it in the commercial, Vivian Tries is gonna do it every time. <laughs> Because I'm just thinking it's a dare. Okay, it's on. Okay, ready? Take a nap. <laughs> it's not going to crush this, I don't think. This has turned into an exposed video. I'm telling you guys because everything that I've tried similar to the commercial, I can't recreate it. I'm just saying.
What do you guys think? Is it crushed? I don't even think with a vacuum we could probably crush that. I mean, that's a big claim. It's in there. It's not moving. It's impressive. But it it's not even close to crushing this. You better cut that shit off that infomercial quick. Y'all better re-edit that shit and get that out because it's... I can't recreate that. Y'all got some special cans over there made out of paper? <laughs> Before we move on, let's grab my vacuum cleaner to see if even a vacuum can do what they're saying in that infomercial with this can. I just find it hard to believe, like, what has that kind of power? This little thing, listen, I have a Dyson that cost me an arm and a leg. If that can't do it, this little ass thing, <laughs> take that shit out the infomercial. I'm just gonna do it like this, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not completely flat on there, but it's good enough. This thing can suck. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Pay attention. It's gonna go fast, I think. I don't know. Okay, that took about 30 seconds, but <laughs> even my Dyson is not able to crush that can. It's not even bent, not even close. Did y'all see anything special or anything that I'm doing differently from the infomercial and the can trick? You're gonna save over $300 based on that infomercial on <laughs> check-in fees for your luggage. Well, I filled up my luggage with all my shit. I wanna, <laughs> this is how I pack. Don't even play, I gotta be comfortable. I even got my comfy. It's that time of year, girls and boys. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so we have a lot of jackets because it's cold right now. I'm hoping that I can pack all this back in here in three bags and have plenty of room so that I only have to check in half of the shit and not all of it. Just like the commercial said. Let's fold up our jacket nicely like they did in the infomercial. Now, I'm gonna do four, just like they had on that bed. Watch as it condenses this stack of bulky winter clothes to a fraction of their original size. I don't think I have four, I think I have three. Even better, so this should be easy peasy. There's two, one more. What do y'all think? Put your bets in. You guys know we love to bet on this channel. Look at the before. Okay, I want it to be to about right there. What do you think? No? <laughs> I don't either, but let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We're just testing what they told us in the infomercial. And in the infomercial, you guys saw, there was four jackets. One, <laughs> two, three. And I'm already passing the little line that they told us not to pass. <laughs> So really we could get one jacket in here. So here's the fill line. I think we're pretty good with our three things, right? Got it. Again, here's the before. This should be like basic 101 air vacuuming revolutionary system stuff. This is the basic test right here. I feel like if I lift it just a little bit, there's enough airflow right underneath it to speed it up. I don't know, I feel like it's getting blocked. <laughs> okay, five minutes later, it's still, it's working very slowly. I wanna like squish it down to help it like push the air to the top, so I am gonna do that to assist it a little bit, but I'm not impressed. They didn't do this part in the infomercial. This is just me helping it. Look at all this air still in there, 20 minutes later. Taking down this tower of clothes with ease. Does it look like the infomercial to you? My eyes are going bad, I think, because <laughs> now 
let's open it, put air back in it, and try it with the Dyson. I just want to see how flat we can really get it with these types of jackets, with something that is actually really powerful. Okay, here we are again. Are you guys getting deja vu? Now the Dyson. put the lid on it okay if you don't see it there's something wrong with your eyes because <laughs> this is what i'm talking about this is what i thought i was getting with this thing right it's not fair to compare it to the dyson i know you're thinking that i don't know how powerful their pack and stack was because i didn't get that version if you haven't watched my comfy video i will link it up in the description of this one this was the best find <laughs> a few months ago. So for this one, we're not even close to the fill line. So maybe this one will go faster. We're trying every different scenario so that nobody can say that we didn't give it a good try. All right, it's in, go. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go because in the infomercial, she wasn't holding it. Simply place any soft items into the packing bags and let the pack and stack do the work. We're getting there now. It's been about almost five minutes now. Okay, that's it. I can't take it any longer. It's torture watching this, okay? Powerful enough to shrink down even the bulkiest items. It's so strong. It just took the air out of the empty spaces, but it did not suck the actual comfy in. Do you see the difference? I mean, it's not fair, I know. It's a Dyson. I'm just saying that the infomercial, that shit looked thin too. You can cut the cord and reduce the bulk anywhere in the palm of your hand. Let me finish this off with the Dyson so we can see how much more air is still in there. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that? If you looked away, you missed it. Look how small it is now. Tight, you can tell. I mean, it shrunk the damn comfy. And I think if I would have pushed it down a little bit to kind of help the air move around, I think it would have sucked a lot more out. But because I didn't do it with this one, I wasn't gonna do it with the Dyson. I'm just saying, I can't seem to recreate anything that they did in that infomercial. I wanna see if I can squish this down and get some more air out of it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at it now. Listen, I just sold everybody a Dyson. Are you impressed? Shit, I'm impressed. Why am I not doing this to everything? Look how much space I just saved with that comfy. It's been in the closet for six months now, taking up a lot of room. But now I have not this. No, sir. I'm going to Dollar Tree. I'm buying $20 worth of bags and I'm going to use my vacuum. Forget using it in your suitcase because you're gonna get stuck in a hotel room with a whole bunch of plastic bags and your vibrator. <laughs> okay, let's open it to bring it back to shape because don't mess up my comfy now. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, <laughs> fluff up, baby. Comfy. How organized are you gonna be? Your mom's not gonna call you a hoarder anymore if you organize your life, but I'm gonna say skip out on this because it's not working at all, or at least I haven't been able to experience the joy that those people were in that infomercial. Like I can't get it to work. Not the way they sold it to me in that infomercial. If you wanna give this a try, go ahead, feel free. Let me know how it works out for you. If you've purchased one in the past and you love it, also, I wanna hear from you in the comments. The only thing that came out of the pack and stack box that I will continue using are the bags. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the pack and stack zero 
Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool As Seen on Television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!